Last time I introduced the uh, Holland circuit. I said the uh, Holland circuit has a very high output impedance. Now I like to um, use a, a approach we discussed before to verify the output impedance of uh, Holland circuit. Now to find out uh, the output impedance, as we discussed before, we need to follow the following steps. At first, surprise input signal and then connect the input signal to ground. Uh, originally, there is a, a, an input voltage here. I will take off voltage source, connect this terminal to ground. Step two, apply a test voltage to output terminal Note that load resistors need to be removed. Uh, if you compare, if you remember previously here, we have a load resistor. Now we need to remove this and apply a voltage. That is a test voltage. And then if we can find a relationship between test voltage and the induced current, uh, this relation, this uh, ratio, this uh, VI divided by I, this is output impedance of the circuit. Right, now we can uh, write uh, two equations to describe this uh, circuit. The first equation is a VI equals VO times R3 divided by R3, R4. Right now, V O. Uh, if we uh, consider this path, if I consider this path there, uh, I consider this path. Here is V I. Here is V I. Here is also V I. So here is also V I. So that is uh, fundamental, because here we have a negative feedback. This uh, potential, this potential is the same. So here is also VI. Now this potential, if we look at this uh, path, this potential is part of uh, VO. Actually, this is a voltage divider. The VI equals VO times this R3 divided by this overall resistance. That is R3 plus R4. So that is the first equation. The second equation, I. Let's uh, consider this uh, current. If we, let's assume we have a current I in this way. Now this uh, current will go here, will go there. So you have uh, two paths. Uh, it, let's uh, consider this, uh, this path first. Uh, this uh, current go this way, this current wouldn't go that go there because here is uh, uh, no current, no current here, right? The current uh, only one way to go, then go this way. So here is a VI, that current is, here is a VI divided by R1. That is a current here. The other path is uh, VI minus VO, VI minus VO, that is a potential difference across this R2. I divide by R2, so that is a current here. So this I equals, if I use uh, this, I have two paths. I add those two together, that equal, equal I. So that is the equation here. It's uh, I is there equals VI, VI divided by R1, that is here, plus VI minus VO divided by R2. Oh, so now we have, uh, we have uh, two equations uh, to describe this uh, circuit. Let's count uh, how many uh, unknowns. We have uh, I, have uh, VI, have uh, V O, V O, okay. Now what we need uh, 
uh, to do is um, we need uh, to find out what is the relationship is a vi divided by i. Obviously, we need uh, to eliminate vo. So here is vo is vo. We don't need the vo. Uh, <coughs> if we change this um, side in change the format like uh, like this, this uh, vo equals vi times r3 plus r4 divided by r3. So that is uh, vo. If we uh, take this part, replace vo, uh, all we have is i and vi, so that we can work out the ratio vi divided by i equals r2 divided by r2 over r1 minus r4, r3. So from this equation to that result, I remember I leave this uh, is your exercise is uh, here, exercise uh, 13. So you need to uh, derive from here to there by yourself as a, that's a purely mathematics game. Uh, once we have this uh, result, uh, if we choose r4 over r3 equals r2 over r1. So you remember this actually is a Holland condition. This is a Holland condition. Once we can meet Holland condition, this term becomes zero. So if we have any resistance value, normally is how many kilo ohm, it divided by zero, uh, R O is the approach to infinite. Uh, by uh, uh, this um, deviation, now uh, we can uh, confirm the condition for this uh, circuit to be a current source is R4 over R3 equals R2 over R1. I.e. Uh, resistor ratios must be exactly match. Uh, that is a ratio that is a ratio exactly match. The uh, following is an exercise uh, question. Uh, that is what I ask you to do here, derive from those two equations, you derive this uh, result. The following page is a summary of uh, part six. We uh, leave this to a synchronous session. So we finish uh, part six next time. Uh, we start uh, part seven. Part seven is uh, sensors.